Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about how to import a text file or a CSV file from your Google Drive into R or R Studio. So in order to do that, first you should have installed the package called Google Drive into your R Studio or R. So if you haven't installed it yet, what you have to do is first go to packages, then uninstall. You can type Google Drive and click install. So after installing it, you have to import that Google Drive package into your R Studio by just clicking this option. All right. So after that, the next step is you have to give uh, gives the authorization to access your files from your Google Drive. So in order to do that, you can use this uh, drive underscore auth function. So just run this uh, code and it will redirect uh, to your Google Drive. So from here, you can choose the uh, Gmail account that you, uh, you are going to um, import the file. So I am going to use this uh, Google Drive account. So then they are asking your permission to access uh, your Google account. So just click allow. And here it says uh, authentication is complete. So now go back to our, our account. So using this drive underscore find function you can check the files in your google drive account so here you can give the number of files that you need to uh, check so since in my uh, google account there are a few number of files are there so i just gave it as 10 but in your gmail uh, google account there can be more than 10 files let's say you have like 50 files or 100 files then based on that you can change this number uh, to any number you want so see since i have only few files i have given it as 10 so just run this code then you can see the files in your google drive account okay so now i'm going to download the file from google drive into my local path using this drive underscore download function i'm going to download this data.txt file uh, text file into my uh, local path so just type this file name under uh, double quotations and if you want to overwrite the file then you need to type overwrite equals true like this and based on this i have created an object called file p so just run this code then it says file downloaded and it save locally so basically if you are if you do like this it will save to your local path which is uh, usually the, the documents but if you have specified uh, a working directory then it will save it uh, save it into your that particular working directory okay so you can see the path of this file by just typing this object name and dollar and you can type path and there are some few other options if you need uh, you can check those things as well so you can see the path is uh, this so this means basically the file has uh, saved it into your documents okay so after doing this what you can do is you can access your file uh, by by using this path so so you can what you can do is you can just uh, copy this path like this and go to import data set and use this second option from text and under uh, inside the parenthesis it says read r and here you can just uh, type the path of the file and click update then it will give you a preview of the file 
so since you use a text file so and they haven't used the correct delimiter so the data is not separately well into three columns so so I'm going to change the delimiter of the file so I think the delimiter of this file is a white space so you can see now it has separated clearly into uh, three um, columns so here under the name you can change the object name of the file if you want so like this and here I'm going to change the uh, object name into data to new you can give any name if you want here so after doing that you can type uh, you can click import option here okay so now if you want to double check whether this thing has done correctly you can uh, check the check the variables in your uh, dead object by using this str function so str under the parenthesis you can give the object name so here I gave it as data to new so if you run this code you can see there are three files which is uh, three variables which is x1 y1 and x2 and if you want to just find the mean of the first uh, first x variable so you can just type uh, mean and under the parenthesis you can write data to new dollar x1 then it will give you the mean of the x1 variable okay so that's how you can uh, upload or oh, sorry you can import a file from uh, google drive and use it for your data analysis okay and the final two commands are basically some additional things you can use so here using this drive dot uh, drive underscore user option you can check the user current user of your google account so this is useful in situations like uh, if you have a couple of google accounts and you need to take uh, files from a couple of google accounts in that case uh, you can just verify the, the current uh, user of uh, your google account using this uh, drive underscore user option and after that if you want to reset the google account what you can do is you can use this command called drive underscore auth and under the parenthesis you can write uh, reset equals true and if you run this code it will redirect uh, into your Google account and here you can give uh, the email name or the Google account name that you need to access with the, with the password then after that basically you have to uh, repeat this uh, whole thing again uh, from here and you can access that file okay so that's it for today and if you think uh, this video is useful to you uh, please put a like on this video and uh, to get more new videos like this uh, please um, subscribe my youtube channel alright so that's it for today and have a nice day